Hello, this is BP Lab. Today, we will use a scratch to create a wooden drum that can be actually played. First, let's learn about the structure of the drum. The two trapezoidal shapes on the left are hi-hat and open hi-hat. The small circles at the top of the drum are high-tom and a low-tom. The two trapezoidal shapes on the right are the crash symbol and ride symbol. Finally, the large circles below the drums are the snare drum and the bass drum. Now, we will assemble the wooden drum, attach conductive tape, and connect it to the Makey Makey board and program it, so that the drum makes a sound depending on where it touches. Here's the list of materials to make a wooden drum. Two drum frames, wood glue, aluminum tape, copper tape, makey makey board, alligator clips, USB mini 5 pin cable, and jumper wires. First, get two wooden frames. The wider part of this frame becomes the bottom plate. The upper and lower parts become the sticks of the drum. The frame in the center of this frame is the drum parts. And the other frames are the pillars that connect the part that drum and the bottom plate. Then, take off all the drum parts from the wooden frame. We will use aluminum tape to conductively coat the instrument. Cut aluminum tape larger than the size of the drum and wrap it around it. Tape the remaining part of the tape to the back. Since the hole in the frame needs to be connected to a post, attach the hole on the back so that it is not covered with tape. Paste the rest in the same way. When attaching the aluminum tape to the rest of the area, attach it so that it overlaps enough with the first tape. Apply aluminum tape to all remaining frames. After all the aluminum tapes have been attached, the next step is to take off the bottom plate of the drum and the pillar's frame. Attach the pillar to the drum frame using wood glue. Start with the hi-hat on the far left of the drum. If you look at the pillars, you can see that the lengths on both sides are different. Insert the short side of the pillar into the short side of the hi-hat frame and fix it. Secure with wood glue. And point the shorter side of the pillar towards you. Fix it to the bottom plate of the drum with glue. The open hi-hat is also attached in the same way. When attaching high toms, low toms, crash cymbals, or ride cymbals, also make sure that the short side of the pillar faces you. Now we're going to attach the big circle frame as well. When attaching the large circle frame, we will attach the support to the base first. We will attach it to the base plate, so that the side perpendicular to the side of the support is facing down. Fix it with the short side of the support facing you. Attach the large circle frame with the side closest to the side where the hole was cut facing you. Attach the other round frame in the same way. completed wooden drum with conductivity. In order to play the drums, the drumsticks also need to be conductive. 
take off the drumstick frame. Assemble by crossing drumsticks of different shapes, then apply glue. Do the same for the rest of the drumstick frame. Attach copper tape to the drumstick to make it conductive. Cover everything from the position where you hold the stick to the part where you play the drum with copper tape. If the copper tape is torn along the way, peel it off and reapply it from scratch. Apply copper tape to the remaining drumsticks as well. A conductive drumstick is complete. So far, we have been making conductive drums and drumsticks. Then, let's connect the drums and the computer using the Makey Makey board. We will use alligator clips and jumper wires to connect the drum to the Makey Makey board. First, put alligator clips on the drum one by one. Then, plug the jumper wires into the left side of the Makey Makey keyboard. W, A, S, D, F, G on the Makey Makey board will be connected in order from the left side of the drum as shown on the screen. Connect the jumper wire plugged into the W pin to the crocodile clip connected to the hi-hat of the drum. When connecting, make sure to connect them in a straight line so that they don't come off easily. And then, connect A pin to open hi-hat, S pin to high tom D pin to low tom F pin to crash cymbal, G pin to ride cymbal. Connect the crocodile clip holding the snare drum to the up arrow on the Makey Makey board. And, connect the crocodile clip holding the bass drum to the down arrow. Now let's connect the drumsticks and the Makey Makey board using alligator clips. Clip the end of the drumstick with an alligator clip. Connect the other side of the alligator clip to the bottom part of the Makey Makey board, earth. Now, drums and Makey Makey boards are all connected. Now we're going to make it sound on the computer when we play the drums using the Makey Makey board and scratch. First, connect the USB cable to the computer and plug the other end of the cable into the Makey Makey board. If the light on the board flashes when you hit the drum with a drumstick, it indicates a successful connection. Now, let's use Scratch to program the drum sound when the electronic drum is hit. Before programming, you will need a Scratch file with drum sounds. The file can be saved by accessing the website and then clicking the download button on the drum sound code. So let's start programming. Access the site to get started with Scratch. When the page opens, click Create. In this file I menu, click Load from your computer. Click the downloaded project file to open the project. Click on the Sounds tab to make sure all 8 drum sounds are included. Each drum sounds the same as the screen. Click the Code tab. Click the Events tab and get the When Space key pressed block. To change the input to fit the hi-hat, change Space to EW. Click on the Sound tab. Get the start sound hi-hat block. Program the rest of the drums in the same way. Right-click on the block and click duplicate. Set the sound of open hi-hat to be played when the AI key is pressed. In the same way, 
S key to play high tom, D key to play low tom, F key to crash cymbal, G key to ride cymbal, up arrow to snare drum, down arrow to play bass drum. When you complete the eight blocks as shown on the screen, the drum programming is complete. Let's hold the drumsticks connected to earth and play the drum. If the light on the board blinks each time you hit the drums, it's working fine. So far, we've made electronic drums, programmed sounds, and even played them. With Scratch, you can create and play a variety of musical instruments. Then, next time, I'll see you all with a different instrument.